Hi guys, Debbie here. Welcome to my channel and to today's video. It's going to be a bit of a showcase of my highlights in my collection that are my favourites. Some of them are palettes, some of them are singles, but they're just all the ones that I like for various different reasons. And I've got way more highlights than this in my collection, so if you want to see a full highlight collection, then let me know down below in the comments. Maybe with a little highlight symbol or something, so that I know. But in this video, as I say, I'm just showcasing some of my favourites and telling you why they're my favourites. So without further ado, we'll kick off and I'll show you my first one. And this is an older one in my collection, but I still find myself reaching for it quite a lot. And it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora palette. Now, I've got the Moon Child, I've got the Dream, I've got all sorts of different ones. But I come back to this one a lot because it's got some of the those unusual highlights in there. You've got your regular sort of highlight shade, like that's a nice icy one or a peachy one. But I love the Lyra shade in here and I love the Helia shade because they're interesting, but they're not too outlandish. Like you can still wear them, or I can, I mean, I, I push the envelope, I suppose, with my makeup anyway, but I don't think they're that unwearable. Like it's not a streak of like a bright green, it's just a hint. So if I'm wearing something green, that one's lovely. Lyra really warms up a look and you can top that over a blush or a bronzer and it just gives that bit of sparkle. Really beautiful in the summertime, that one. You've got a purple in there. I've not been uh, brave enough to use, but maybe that would be good if I do get the purple blush that I've been promising myself I want to buy as a topper for that. But love the quality. Love that they're not too glittery. They're more of a shiny highlight. But you can build them up to be pretty intense or you can have them as just a lip from within kind of glow. Really, really love the Anastasia highlighters. I think they're incredible. I do have the Amrezy highlight as well and that is one of my favourites. But I think if I had to just choose one, this palette would be the one that I would choose from the brand. Talk about choosing two because I couldn't choose between them. I've got two from Kaleidos Makeup that are my favourites and it's these two. So Star Surfer has become my go-to highlight if I don't know what highlight to wear and I'm wearing a pinky look. It has you covered. It's pinky but neutrally enough to pretty much go with anything without looking too out there, too sparkly. I just find myself using it all the time and reaching for it all the time. And then if I want something a little bit more sparkly, a little bit more special, it's the one that I'm wearing now, which is Solar Sailor. And you can probably see it on my cheeks now. It's just got that golden sun-kissed kind of glow. You can build it up to ridiculous intensity if you want to. Like I'll put a little bit more on so that you can see what I mean. But it's really, really packs a, a glow and a golden sort of punch like you can really see that on my cheeks there but I tend to buff it in and I wouldn't wear that much on the daily but I'm just trying to show you how much you can really build that colour up and it's stunning so I love all of the Kaleidos makeup highlighters to be fair but those two have become my favourites for different reasons I'll probably wear the pink one more with pink and purpley looks and and the more yellow one, Solar Sailor, with more peachy kind of vibe looks. So enjoying both of those. If I'm wanting something a little bit more subtle, I love this Cheek Leaders palette from Benefit. There's only one highlight in there, which is Tickle, but it's got that sort of peachy pinkness that just makes it, I don't know, just makes your cheeks look just so pretty. And love this palette the whole of the palette is incredible i bought it to take it on holiday because i wanted a small size california and i wanted a highlight in the same palette but not used dandelion so much but these two together just absolutely stunning so that's what i use that one for is when i want to use the california blush which is a lot of the time because i do love that blush one that is underrated and people don't talk about anymore because it's a bit older but the Kilowatt Foil palette that came out a couple of holiday seasons ago by Fenty Beauty. Love this palette, more so for my eyes though. I do use it a lot as, as a eye palette. 
but the shade Stone Cold, that one in the middle, is absolutely stunning. That's one of those See It From Space highlighters though, so if you don't want something that's glittery, really impactful, then you won't like it, but it is just so stunning. But these are gorgeous as, as eyeshadows. I mean, I don't think of anyone that I can think of that would wear those as a highlight, but they're really pack a punch as eyeshadows, really intense, really pretty. There's a lot of different formulas in this palette. And it was such a good value buy at the time so but that stone cold shade in the middle is definitely my favorite in the palette now i feel kind of like i shouldn't include this one because it's a very old product but i absolutely love it so i'm going to include it anyway so it's the urban decay jean michel basquiat face palette i've got the two eyeshadow palettes as well and they're incredible but love this palette for the highlight and the blushes are pretty good in here actually there is a purpley blush in here which i'll forget to use that is gorgeous i'm gonna have to use that soon but now's the time that shade there is my sort of if i'm wanting a work appropriate highlight that's a lip from within glow then that one or sin from the sin palette i've got both and they're both fairly similar this one's a little bit deeper so if i've got a bit more color summertime i don't get a a huge amount of colour but if I do pick up a little bit of tan which I do if I go on holiday then that one works really well and I take this away to use on holiday which is why I'd forgotten it and I got a, a purple in there because it's been a long time since I've used it but it's still a favourite in my collection you can see it's pretty grubby where the bronzer is and my my palettes stay really uh, nice and pristine because I don't hit pan on anything so you can see I've really used this one and I do really enjoy it and the next few products are all from Jeffree Star but they're different formulas different products from him so the first one is a skin frost just the ordinary skin frost I've got most of the shades I don't own ice cold which is probably the best one I don't know why I don't own that but but I own all of the interesting colors should we say but this one lavender snow as you guys know, I love to wear purple eyeshadow. Purple and green and red are kind of my favourites. I'm doing a purple eye look. That just looks so stunning. It's cool toned, not too icy. It just really chisels your cheeks. If you put it just on the like the high points where I've got it here and put quite a, a deep contour on it, just looks stunning. So, and it's one of the better formulas. I've got Princess Cut, which is a beautiful color, but that hard pans really badly. This one's a really nice formula. So very hit and miss, I think. Some of them are really good, some of them are not so. But this one is one of the better ones of his Skin Frost, the original Skin Frost. Massive pan, I'll never use it all, but, but when I do a purple eye look, I always think of this one and want to use it. But if I want to go even more intense than the Supreme Frost in the shade Hyperthermia, it's really good. I've got this one and I've also got Many Honey, bought them at the same time, but I think this one is my favourite. It shifts from blue to purple. It's just, I don't know if it's picking it up on camera at all. It's very hard to show these. They're so special. They're really glittery. So if you don't like anything glittery, you won't like them. You do get noticed when you're wearing them. They are definitely what Theresa is dead would call an alien slut highlight. If you press them on with your fingers, they're even more intense. I tend to use a buffing brush like the uh, Kaleidos Makeup Highlighter brush or the FO3 High Cheekbone Highlighter from Sigma and then really, really buff them in because otherwise... You know it is super intense but if you like that you're going to love them and i think the formula is worth the money these are pretty expensive but they're really really good in my opinion but i couldn't talk about jeffree star highlights without talking about this palette which is the brain freeze palette so good came out with the jawbreaker collection last summer so there's one shade that i can't make work for me only as an eyeshadow and that would be that one which is statuesque but I've pretty much used all of the others. I think Cocky is a little bit too dark for me as a highlight, but works great as a bronzer or blush topper. My favourite blush topper of all time is in here, which is Frozen Fruit. That one's gorgeous. But the two icy shades, Freeze Tag and Cold Shoulder, both work really well for me for a really icy highlight. My favourite though is Gold Breaker. I just think there's something really special about that highlight. 
but the formula on these are meant to only be like the skin frost formula but they're way better than the big pink pans of uh, skin frost so I think his formula has come a long way since those were brought out and this is really good and really good value for all the different variety of shades in there as well so I love this palette. Next up is one that when I bought it I wasn't that impressed and now I absolutely love it. Do you ever have things like that guys where you buy it and you're like, mm, it's okay and then just keep using it because you feel like you should use it and then you like develop a love for it. This one's by Pixie by Petra. It is Subtle Sunrise is the colour. I saw Paulina Beauty cover this one saying how much she loved it. She'd panned one of the shades completely. I don't know which shade she had and I was in London actually because you couldn't get Pixie very easily in my town and I was in London and I saw this particular shade and I decided to pick it up and you can see I've used quite a lot of it for me and I just love it I love both shades together but this side is just that sort of neutral champagne -y highlight that goes with everything and I think that's what makes me gravitate towards it so much I've got a warmer one if I want something a bit bit more glowy bit warmer but that shade the the more champagne shade and probably the two mixed together as well I've done that sometimes but it's just one of those go-to's that I think I probably will hit pan on at some point the formula is really good it's intense enough of a highlight without being look at me kind of too much of a streak of highlight on your skin if that makes sense so really really enjoy that one I think it was 20 pounds for the two shades but which is quite expensive I think for what is kind of a drugstore brand but they're quite dear in the UK but worthwhile I think and I really enjoy it. So we're down to the last two highlights that I want to show you. They're two of my absolute favourites more so for going out though because they do pack a punch. This one's by Ofra. It's the shade Pillow Talk. I own Glazed Donut which is a lot paler than this and then I own this one Pillow Talk and I just love a pink highlight and I have to thank Amy Loves Makeup for getting me into these probably two years ago I saw her feature them and that's when I bought glazed donut because I'm super pale so is Amy and I thought if it would work for her it would work for me and she find it a little bit too icy so maybe she's paler than I am because I prefer this one it's just got that little bit more colour to it but still pale enough to really highlight my skin the formula is just like glass on the skin it's almost like a cream kind of uh, texture to it it's so soft and buttery I want to get more of these highlights probably will get this month of March ones if they come to Beauty Bay because I think they're just a stunning product and really nice as inner corner highlights and as eyeshadow as well so definitely one of my favorites really really intense highlight there a little goes a long way and down to probably my favorite in my collection and it is a limited edition Kat Von D one is going to reflect horribly off of everything but it was part of their 10th anniversary collection so it's one of the Metal Crush highlights I've got the Metal Crush palette but this one is my favourite and it's the shade Gold School and it looks white there but it's got a, a gold sheen to it there's a lot of glitter particles in this but it just catches the light in such a pretty way I love a glittery highlight though so and for a night out the more sparkle on my cheeks the better as far as I'm concerned so this is my highlight of choice if I'm going out anywhere particularly in the summer as I say it's just so pretty if the sunlight catches it it just glistens on your cheeks and it's just gorgeous but it's got like a, a white base and then like the the gold glittery particles in it and they're not chunky glitter or anything but you can definitely see the sparkle in the light and it's just stunning and I'm so happy to have that I've got all of the the Kat Von D 10th anniversary collection every piece and I'll treasure them forever so it's my favorite highlight of the moment in my collection but I don't use it all that much I'll be gutted when this is finished because it's not made anymore so just keep it for special occasions so that's my favorites in my collection for various different reasons but I've got probably treble that amount in my collection so if you guys would like to see me go through all of my highlights my singles and my palettes then as I say let me know down below I always enjoy filming collection videos and it'll help me to bring to the forefront of my mind what I've got and what I should maybe pull out and use a bit more because I do tend to grab take to the same ones all the time I think we all are a little bit guilty of that and as I say just 
getting that Jean Michel Basquiat face palette out again. I've just decided I really need to use that blush that's in there. And I probably don't need to buy a purple blush because I already own one. So I think we're all guilty of that. And in these times when perhaps money's a bit tight for us all, then it's definitely a good thing to do to shop your stash. And I'm intending to start a shop my stash series on my channel I've been meaning to do it forever I just need to get my arse in gear and actually get on with filming that one so probably next weekend I'll film that I think but hope you've enjoyed seeing my favorite highlights I've done a favorite blush video already so I'll link that for you if you're interested to see my favorite blushes of the moment but as I say if you want to see bigger collections of those or a combined one just let me know but hope you've enjoyed watching guys and I'd love to know what's your favourite highlighter at the moment. Just one. Just comment one down in the comments and let me know. If there's anything that I maybe have in my collection that I've forgotten about, I'd love to know so that I can drag it back out again. Probably won't be buying any more. But it might help other people as well to see what, what all your favourites are. I know there's such a community down there in the comments. So thank you for watching. Keep safe and well, guys. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.